decent. Found a couple fans already too. Blender action. See this guy taking air conditioners apart. Starting early. Gotta get out here. Twenty-one. Got a nice plug on it. I don't think it's convection. Looks like regular electric cooktop. Those convection ones, man. The top's got a lot of copper in them, but there ain't too many convection ones around. I don't think. I don't think they work with non-ferrous cookware, right? No. Well, we got a little bit, of, a little bit of something here. I think today's going to be a little bit more action-packed than yesterday, apparently. Yeah, here. Okay. Uh, I lied yesterday. We do take some wood. getting cold out here. It's good rocket soap fuel. Ugh. All right. I don't know what this is. Smoker? Plastic? A plastic work cart or something. Couldn't tell if it was metal or not. Nope. Fake scrap. That's not fake. It's kind of awkward, but...
kind of weird. It's a big light. steel. I think that one's aluminum. We're off. A lot of stuff out today. What we got here? Easy up. Busted easy up and a screen door. Sure. taken apart easy ups are a pain in the butt man when they're all mangled mangled together and bent up I usually ditch them at that point but it's nice when they're bundled up like firewood for you <laughs> all right keep going A bunch of concrete weights there, too. They've been there for weeks. Bits enough to pay for the gas, but it wasn't really anything setting the world on fire or anything. The wooden ladder. Oh, I found a uh, oh, exhaust pipe for a stove. Let me grab that, I'll come back. Looks like a TV over here. Let's see what it is. LG
Tuesday's trash is out today too. So I guess they're doubling up. So we're gonna have to run through uh, all the areas I did yesterday. Well, not all of them, just in this township. Kids waiting on the bus. Oh yeah, rich neighborhood's got trash out now. Maybe we'll find something good. I normally don't mess with TVs too much. I'll take them if they're plasmas because usually the plasmas have a big aluminum heat sink in the back. Well, the whole back of the TV is aluminum. I guess they use it as a heat sink. Most of those LED TVs are really light. They got steel in them, a couple boards and stuff, but I don't know. It's not, it's not really anything crazy. I'd rather pick up a computer or something, you know? And, uh... I guess if they work, you can sell them, but everybody wants a smart TV now, so if it ain't a smart TV, I got a smart TV in my garage now. It doesn't even have a YouTube app on it. I can't even, I can do everything else, Hulu, Netflix, but no YouTube, so I got to find another one to put up in my garage to watch YouTube videos. Another, another hustle, I don't know if anybody else wants to try to do it. There's a lot of these, uh, there's a lamp. Let me go grab it. I'll be back. All right. One more broken lamp in the truck. Like I was saying, sometimes there's a lot of these uh, CRT TVs out here. I mean, they're everywhere, right? Into people's driveways. They've been there for years. They're so sun bleached and decrepit. The plastic's falling apart. So if I catch somebody in their yard, I'll stop and I'll ask about the TV and then they'll be like, oh, please take it, please take it. And I tell them, you know, it caught, it's a hazardous material and it cost me $5 to get rid of it. I think I see something back here. So I, I tell them if they want to give me five bucks, I'll take it with them. And then I, you know, the copper and scrap I get out of it will be extra money for me. Uh, toaster oven. Go grab it. So I do that quite a bit. Luckily, I have a a dumpster at my shop, so I can get rid of them and you make a couple extra bucks, and you and you clean up the street. Because I can't tell you how many of those things fool me. You know, you see them there, and then what is this thing? I don't know, but it's some sort of coffee thing. I guess I'll take it. Shred, right? It's got a cord on it. A small one. Oh, I guess I'll stop yapping. This video is getting pretty long. Got to step up my editing game, apparently. A couple curtain rods. A couple more small pieces of wood for the rocket stove. And another exhaust pipe wood stove. There was a bunch of kids out there waiting on the bus so I didn't want to take the camera out. Alright, keep moving. Man, today's hot and heavy, boys. Hot and heavy. Oh yeah, we like that kind. Road again. <laughs> Just karaoke machine. Hmm. You got some aluminum. What's this? Medicine cabinet, of some sort. That's heavy. What the hell's in there? I guess it's staying. Alright. Back on the road. We didn't make it too far. It's 
might be brass. Sure looks like it. It's definitely corroded. That's definitely brass. Sweet. was some Christmas decorations there where that lamp was, the brass one, but that shit's too bulky and too light. When you're in a small truck, you gotta pick and choose whether you're gonna shave seven cents off your brake pad slamming on the brakes to pick up seven cents, or just leave it there and hopefully you get something heavier. You got a big truck with big size, you just throw it in there, but sides I like to be able to reach into my truck so come back just found a small metal lawn ornament I think I'm gonna grab this tote here too it's got a lid we got a good one Well, come back, find something else. Looks shiny. Uh, cut up pool table. Nah, we're good on a cut up pool table. Alright. Pretty sure I just seen a cast iron sink. I think I did. Oh man. Heavy one. Hopefully. Definitely. Think I'm young, right? Sheesh. <laughs> All right. Just picked up a fold-up lounge chair for like around the pool. It was steel though. Looks like another TV up here too. Well, apparently there's a bunch of stuff here. Another LG TV. Walmart lamp. Ow. All right, keep going. This is the house I had the bed rails out yesterday. Now there's like a little chair and a bug zapper there. It looks like.
<laughs> Scores. Oh, I found this Polaroid camera earlier too. I'll have to show you later. Check it out on eBay, see if it's worth anything. Just grabbed another junk vacuum and a uh, power strip. Look at this guy's truck. I don't know what he's doing, but it is mangled. <laughs> Living that scrap life, right? <laughs> Just seen a refrigerator. Cut the cord and took one of the doors. I can't fit the whole thing in here. We'll see what uh what the really rich part of town's got. These are probably million dollar homes out here. If not, they're really close to it. Well, it wasn't much in the rich part of town. Guess I'm about to do some repairs today. Sounds like my front brake pad's down to the metal. Guess I have to go to my shop. Damn, that's deep. Go to my shop, pick up my brake pads I got over there. And a couple more, a couple more roads over here to check out. See if there's anything else. There's a well pump box over here. Looks like they got a new well pump. What are the chances the old one's in there? Let's go see. Negative Ghost Rider. Worth a look though. Seen some exhaust back here. What are the chances there's a catalytic converter? I doubt it. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. <laughs> it's from a Subaru too. Well, that made it all worthwhile. That little bastard right there is probably, probably 60 bucks. Oh, scores! <laughs> Got the second one, too. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yeah, that might be a that might be a hundred dollar come up right there. Today is definitely a lot better than yesterday. Alright. I don't know if you guys can hear it on camera. I'll hit the brakes really hard here. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> well. Good thing I ran a garage over here, eh? Got my whole ward in it. Doctor's office is popping today. Right. I guess I'll get this wheel off and put some brake pads on her. Come back when I get it off, see how wore down she is. Gotta have two different size lug nuts, right? Uh, uh. Uh, must be the inside one. No? outside one see it oh yeah metal to metal baby all right junk man status 
change one pad, right? <laughs> All right. Hey, <laughs> maybe we can use our new toolkit. <laughs> cool. Always happens for a reason, right? Let's go check the inventory. I'd put it on the lift, but we got the brat in here right now. I don't feel like taking that thing down, pushing it around by myself. All right, brake pads. Brake pads. Hey, hard body. All right. Back to work, right? I'll show you guys the load. Cast iron sink. Catalytic converters. Scores! Brass lamp. More scores. Okay. There's that fold up chair I was talking about. Fridge door. And some exhaust pipe. Alright. Back to work. Never a dull moment, right? usually do the screwdriver trick get it in here push the cylinder back this kit I don't think it's ever been used looks brand new all right get her patched up yep She's wasted. I don't think it destroyed the rotor yet. I need to change these rotors anyway, but it's kind of a pain. See these bolts that come in from the back? You gotta take the hub off, unbolt the rotor. It was just metal to metal on the very edge there, you see it? All right. Oh, and uh, I thought it was the sliders, but they're good. I definitely need to grease them again. Let me go get some grease. Like I said yesterday, Gotta be able to fix your own stuff in this game. Oh, do we use a used brake pad or do we use a new one? Uh, see, there's the other one. I think that was another outside one. This might have been off the other side, though, I think, driver's side. I might just throw this guy in there. She's got some life left in her. It's a pain having to take it apart, but every penny you can save, right? Every penny. All right, let me get some grease. This is the stuff I use. Permatex, stream, ceramic. Works pretty good. All right, I guess we're putting the uh, the old one in there. I guess we'll leave it. I'll probably break that squeal tab off. Nah, nah, I'll leave it on. I'll leave it on there. Give me some warning this time, right? Come on. Come on. All right. Here we go. Back in business. Put the caliper back on. All right. Put the wheel back on. Maybe I can get back out there before, before the trash trucks take it all. <laughs> oh, here. Let me show you this. Polaroid camera I found. I don't know if it's anything special. Oh, it's actually Polaroid bland, brand land camera LMS Sun 600. Hmm. I don't know. I'll look it up. If it's worth more than 20 bucks, I'll post it. Give it to my buddy to put on eBay. All right, guys. I guess we'll call that here for now. 30 minutes. Yep. Way better than yesterday. Besides the brake issue, but. That's just a 15 minute delay, right? Alright, have fun scrapping. Take it easy.